Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald Wedlock. In the last episode, we made here to Moss Deep City, and in this episode, we're gonna take on the Moss Deep City Gym. What I'm gonna do before I take on the gym, though, or though, wow, though, take on the gym, is uh, use these three rare candies that I have down in my bag. I'm gonna use it to get Teal and Zigglypuff up to level 39, just because they would definitely do better if they were on a higher level, I suppose. So let's just do that, get them up to level 39, and free up some bag space, I guess, by using these rare candies. So, there we go, level 39 for both of those guys, that's good. And, uh, what I will also do is not get out of the bag, I'm going to stay in the bag. What I will do is teach, uh, the moves Giga Drain to my, or the move Giga Drain to my Teal. Just because I could do the move that gives me recovery without having to heal up all the time. Gonna get rid of Leaf Blade, I'm gonna go to the, uh, move relearner and probably teach Leaf Blade again after this episode. But, for now, we're just gonna stick with Giga Drain. And what I'm gonna do is also teach the move Shadow Ball to my, uh, Zigglypuff. Because I could do the super effective move against the uh, Psychic types, and that is what this move is. It's Shadow Ball, it's a ghost type move, it's super effective. I'm gonna get rid of Headbutt. I know people will probably question why I'm getting rid of Headbutt, but uh, the thing with uh, with ghost type moves in this generation is that they're physical. So combine the power of uh, Shadow Ball with a lower defense of Tail Whip, we're gonna do a lot of damage and uh, hopefully take some stuff out. So, yeah, I'm so worried about this gym. Hopefully, everything will go correctly. But, I have my doubts. We'll have to see. Anyway, let's see what's going on here. And, uh, yeah, I am insanely worried. I am so frightened about what's going to happen in this gym, really. It's it's crazy. So, anyway, we have uh, these two here with Kadabra and Curlia. What I will do is go for... I think I'll go for Strength on the Kad Curlia. Yeah, I'll go for Strength on the Curlia and go for uh, Shadow Ball and Kadabra. Do as much damage as I can, and uh, strength actually takes out. That's nice. That's a good start. First Pokemon taken down in one hit. That's what I like to see. And I forgot to take the experience off the thing, but it does get up to level 37. It's trying to learn the move of Rock Blast. Uh, I actually prefer Rock Blast to Rock Throw, so I'll teach it. And uh, yeah, well, um, hopefully that'll come in handy in the future, I guess. But for now, it's pretty much worthless because I'm not going to be using uh, the thing in the gym at all. So we'll go for Shadow Ball. Hopefully, take out this uh, Kadabra. And I will take the experience share off after this battle. And we do take it out, so that's good. That's the first two trainers taken down without any difficulty. I'm actually very happy about that. And uh, we defeated Mora and some other guy whose name I didn't quite catch. But uh, yeah, there we go. So first trainers down, happy about that. I'm going to take the experience share off now. I would like the thing and uh, Zigglypuff. Or not the thing, but I like to get Teal and Zigglypuff with the most experience. Hopefully get them to level 40, which will be very helpful against the gym leaders. And uh, what we'll do is take on these two trainers next. So, yeah, this gym is pretty much double battles. You don't have to do them as double battles, but I figure doing them as double battles is a little bit better. Just because I get Teal and Zigglypuff working as a team. Even though thinking about it now, it may be better to just go for single battles. It doesn't really matter, but... Anyway, we have Zatu and we have Giraffe Rig. In my opinion here, Giraffe Rig is the bigger threat. So what I will do is go for Shadow Ball. Oh, no, I can't Shadow Ball it. I go for Secret Power. Then I go for Strength. It is a normal and Psychic type. I forgot about that, which is why I almost went for Shadow Ball, but I backed out at the last second. And here's hoping that this will do enough damage to take it out. It doesn't, which sucks, which means this thing is going to get a move in. And the move it's going to go for is Agility, which means it's going to outspeed me on the next turn, which is actually really bad. So, what I'm going to do is go for Shadow Ball on these up two, and I'll just finish this thing off with an Aerial Ace. As it goes for Odor, so wow, I could have went for... An attack to take me out, or not, well, not take me out, but do a lot of damage to me. Luckily for me, it goes for Odor Sleuth, and it pretty much just sacrifices itself. So there we go, take out that Giraffe Rig. And uh, Shadow Ball should do, hopefully, about, take it to red, hopefully. Alright, so that's, that's a decent amount of damage. I'm pretty sure Pursuit will finish from there. And this thing didn't attack me either, so wow, we've gone, hopefully, through two battles unscathed. Let's go for a Cut and Pursuit. And I think I've pretty much taken it out with Pursuit, so there we go. Two matches unskated, that is quite an achievement, not really though, but it's still, it's good nonetheless. And there we go, so, yeah, we're doing alright, we're doing okay, getting through this somehow, but slow, the gym leader trainers are pretty easy, or the gym trainers are pretty easy, but the gym leaders themselves are very hard. These trainers here are actually rather difficult, because one of them has a Wobbuffet, which means you have to be insanely careful with what you do with this thing, it's so bulky. It can take hits for days, and it can hit you back with Magic Coat or Counter. So, ver be very careful with this Wild Effect. It is a threat. So, what I'm going to do is go for... 
I think I'll tail whip just to make sure this thing has lower defense and I'll go for strength. And uh, hoping strength that take or hoping strength will take out Cadaver and it does so that's awesome. Which means that there's gonna be no uh, attack at targeting the Wobbuffet. Which means it can't use counter or match code. I believe it will use like safeguard or something to prevent it from uh, being attacked. Did I say match code? I said meant to say mirror code. Uh, actually yeah, we're just gonna attack it out right now and hope that I've done enough to actually take it out. So let's go for pursuits and uh, just get our fingers crossed I've done enough. I don't know if that's enough. I really hope it doesn't go for a counter because if it does then I'm screwed. Don't, please don't do it Wobbuffet. Oh, I did enough. I did enough. Tail Whip did just about enough I think. So, awesome stuff. It did just about enough. Lowered its defense enough for me to take it out. So, that could have been annoying. You saw how slowly that thing's HP went down. That is... That's what Wobbuffet's all about. So much HP and it takes hits for days. But luckily, we did. We did alright. So, take on these two trainers next. And, uh, yeah, I'm so worried about this gym. And it doesn't help that it's, like, really hot outside, too, and I'm, like, sweating a bit. So, yeah, I'm not too happy that I'm doing this gym. I probably should have done an episode where I trained up or something. But I don't want to go in there overleveled. I think that takes away from the challenge. Anyway, we'll seek for Power U and we'll pursue it as well. Let's see how much Pursuit does. Hopefully it does more than what the Strength did last time. Looks like it did. It did. It looks like that did more than the Strength did to the last draft rig. And, uh, Secret Power takes it out, so not bad at all. Awesome stuff. Good work from Teal and Zigglypuff. And we've seen a lot of Future Sights being used here, but we haven't even been hit by one yet. So let's go for Cuts, and we'll go for Pursuit. I'm pretty sure that'll do enough to take out this, uh, Natu. It is a Natu after all, so... It's, well, it did a lot of damage. That actually almost killed it. So, there we go. Not too taken care of. Still going strong here with, uh, with not, with doubting, without losing any HP in battle. I'm very surprised that I've done that. So, if I could do that against the gym leaders, no chance of that happening, obviously. But if I could, that would be nice. Uh, let's see. I'm actually gonna take the, uh, actually, no, I'll do it before the gym leader. I'm gonna put a Citrus Berry on my, on my Pokemon, I think. That would be a smart idea, because I'll give them 30 HP should they go down past half. So, yeah, I think that is definitely a good strategy. I do have plenty of citrus berries. So, I need to remember to do that before I take on the gym leaders. Anyway, take on these two trainers next. I believe these guys have Spoink and Rawls. So, pretty much nothing at all to worry about. And that's, yeah, I definitely have to remember to do that. Put the citrus berries on, because that will help me out without question. So, Spoink and Rawls. Two very easy Pokemon to take out. They are very weak, I suppose. Not too weak, but still kind of weak. So Shadow Ball, the Spoink, Strength, the Ralts, and that will be pretty much good game against these guys because they have pretty pathetic Pokemon. No offense to any Spoink and Ralts lovers, but yeah, I, their Evolve Forms are good, I guess. Grumpink's alright, and uh, Gardevoir is really cool, and Galate, they're both really cool Pokemon, but yeah, Spoink and Ralts, they just don't make the grade here. You need to have high-level Pokemon and, like, high-powered Pokemon in a gym. I mean, this is the seventh gym in the game, so... It's it's pretty far in, and to see if Rawlson's points, it's not too intimidating to say the least. Anyway, push this over here and step on it one more time. Actually, we're gonna step on it twice, I think. And um, yeah, we're gonna just do these as like single battles, I guess, because we have to, I guess. Well, we don't have to, but I could have just taken them on as double battles and gone back. It doesn't really make a difference which way I do these battles, but yeah, we'll just do it anyway. So, Curly here on level 36, facing off with Zigglypuff. And I'm just going to go straight for Secret Power. I'm pretty sure Secret Power should kill with the, uh, well, it's a good type. It's good. It's, yeah, killed. All right. It's a high power move. I do have the Silk Scarf. So looking at it now, maybe it was, it'd be better to do these as like single battles, but whatever. It's fine. We're doing all right. So let's just uh, take on you next. And uh, yeah, should do good against this trainer as well. And hopefully get this done. So. Hexmaniac Sylvia with a Metatite. I can just shadow ball that thing into Oblivion. And that is this trainer done. And that's actually all the trainers in the gym defeated. Apart from the gym leaders who are coming up next. So there we go. Metatite defeated. All that awesome stuff. There we go. And uh, we defeat Sylvia. That's good. And let's see. So stand on this. And stand on this. And great. I have to push them the whole way around again. It's kind of annoying. There we go. And stand here. And we are pretty much at the gym leaders. So, come through this room here, which we did first, or near the start. And, uh, yeah, let's just start, like, prepping ourselves up, I guess. So, Citrus Berries, I have 8. They restore 30 HP. Not too much, but it could be significant in battle. Take away the Silk Scarf, I don't need it. I'm not going to be using normal type moves. 
Uh, let's give a Citrus Berry to Teal as well. There we go. And uh, I'm going to use a Max Elixir just to get my PP back. So once I do that, I'm pretty much ready for the gym. Obviously, I'm not ready mentally, but uh, like my Pokemon are prepped for it. So I guess I should be ready for it as well. Gotta hope I do well here. So yeah, we have Tate and Liza here. These are twins. <sighs> Come on, then. Come on, let's do this thing. Let's get pumped, let's get pumped. I got this, I have this, I have this. Come on. If I have it in my mind, I have it in the game. If I if I focus, I can do this. Alright, so. Zatu and Claydol. Two pretty high level Pokemon. Level 41, we have a Ground and Psychic type and a uh, Psychic and Flying type. What I'm going to do is target the uh, uh, Zatu with Shadow Ball. Going to go for Giga Drain on the Claydol. And uh, we actually have speed with uh, Teal, which is good. So... This should do a lot of damage to Claydol, hopefully about half, and that is half, so that's good. As a thing, uh, well, first off, he's going to go for Calm Mind. That's kind of worrying, but not too worrying. I should be able to take out Claydol in the next turn uh, with a uh, with a Giga Drain. So, Shadow Ball is over half this thing. I should live from a decent range of HP, I think. So, yeah, let's see how much this does. It does a lot of damage. Uh, I think what I'll do is just heal up Zigglypuff now and go for a uh, go for a Giga Drain. So yeah, uh, go for Giga Drain on the Zatu. Obviously, take that thing out as early as I can because if that thing goes for uh, goes for Earthquake again, it's obviously going to take out Zigglypuff. So taking this thing out early is definitely my best option. And there we go. So take out the Clay Doll. That's one annoying Pokemon taken care of at least. And uh, yeah, here's just hoping that. We get targeted with Teal. So Teal gets up to level 40. That's awesome. Uh, let's hope the Zatu targets Teal. As uh, Lunatone is going to come in. Lunatone is a rock and psychic type. As uh, Psychic is uh, targeted on Zigglypuff. See how much it does. It is at plus one. Ooh, that's a lot. That is a lot. So what I am going to do is uh, go for Shadow Ball with Teal. I, or Shadow Ball with uh, Zigglypuff and heal up Zigglypuff with Teal. And... Uh, hope that nothing bad happens here so psychic hits zigglypuff and hopefully it does a lot or it doesn't do a lot and shadow ball should kill from there i'm hoping that lunatone does not go for an attack if it goes for attack i'm in trouble if it doesn't then i'm in a very decent position here it probably will go for attack or uh, hopefully it doesn't go for an attacking move but we'll see so in comes soul rock as it goes for psychic and it targets yes Alright, that is not bad at all. Alright, so I get to heal up uh, Zigglypuff, that's awesome. And uh, that went surprisingly to plan, so that's good. What I'm going to do is go for Giga Drain on the Soul Rock instead. I realize I'm running low on Giga Drains, which doesn't help, but I still have Pursuit, which is super effective. So that's nice. Get a hefty chunk off that with uh, Giga Drain, so very nice. And I do get to see... Uh, wow, it's going straight for... That Soul Rock has just killed itself. Soul Rock has pretty much just obliterated itself. So, yeah, Psychic didn't do too much. Uh, I'm going to take it out with the Giga Drain. And, um, I think I've done it. I think I've somehow... I knew, I think I've done it. I, I had it in my mind that I could do it, but... Uh, what I'll do is... I don't, I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to heal up Teal. I'm not risking... Or not Teal, I'm going to heal up Zigglypuff. I'm not going to risk any anything dangerous happening. We're going to Giga Drain the uh, Soul Rock. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that did a lot of damage first. So this is going to kill Soul Rock. And, uh... Critical hit. <laughs> I will accept. I will fully accept that. Thank you very much. There we go. Soul Rock taken care of. Uh, wow. I, I, I think I've somehow done it. It's gone for Calm Mind. That's actually quite alright. I'm still going to do decent damage with like uh, Giga Drain and stuff. So what I will do is actually go for... Actually, should I risk... Go I was going to go for an X attack. I don't know if I should risk it or not. I think I will. I, I, I'm feeling confident enough that I can live another Psychic even at plus one. So... X attack, boost up the power of my Shadow Ball. And I will go for Giga Drain, just do as much damage to this Lunatone as I can. We'll see how much it does at plus one special defense. It does a third. That is very nice. That is actually really good. As it is going to go for another Calm Mind. This thing is setting up in my face. Not sure if I like that too much. But I'm not sure what this thing can do. I can go for another Giga Drain. I can go for Shadow Ball. I'm pretty sure I have it in the bag. So I'm out of Giga Drains. Alright, then that's sort of bad. But... I do have Lepa Berry, so I'm going to actually... Actually, I don't think Shadow Ball will kill from there. I'm going to go for Pursuit. I'm just going to get that extra bit of damage off. I know I could go for a Lepa Berry and heal myself up, but 
I just want to get that extra minuscule bit of damage off. It doesn't look like too much, but it could pay dividends in the end. As Shadow Ball hits and takes out Lunatone. There it is. There it is. Wow. Man, if I was if I was in the game right now, I'd be giving Teal and Sigglypuff the biggest hugs because... Wow, I did it. I somehow did it. That could have... Wow. That gym is so tough. That would have been... I am so happy with myself. Ah, oh, that's insane. So we get Team 4 that contains Calm Mind. Man, I can't believe I did it. Yeah, I really... I cannot believe I actually got the job done. Wow. Well, I know I'm having a good day today if that happens. Well, if something like that happens, you know you're having a good day. So, that is pretty much going to do it for me. Uh, I'm so overwhelmed that I actually managed to win like that. I... That was tactics, I guess. The Stitchers Berries, the, the X attack at the perfect time. I mean, yeah, I was taking risks, but the risks paid off. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys for more shortly enough. So, I will catch you guys then.